so what's up people welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here <clears throat> or if you're not new and you have not subscribed please support the channel i need to get to that 1k follow subscribers i mean so make sure you subscribe to the channel so today i'll be sure i'll demonstrate to you how you can share files between uh, or share a folder between your oracle virtual box and uh, your uh, windows hosting machine so for that the first thing you need to do before you even go to your oracle and uh, power on your kali or ubuntu whatever you are running you need to create a shared folder or if the folder already exists like i'll assume this folder here uh, is the one that exists so you, all you need to do is right click and properties then you go to sharing and then you share the folder then i don't want to share an existing folder i need to start it from the from a start so I create a, a new folder and assume and create a new folder here, new folder. We can call it uh, whatever name, how do you call it? Let me call it YouTube. Then um, oh, there's another folder which is called so. So I call it YouTube, YouTube 2. And then after that you right click on the folder, you go to properties, you go to sharing, you click on share. Then uh, you click on this down arrow. Then you uh, select everyone. Everyone the, with the with the can can be able to to access to access the folder. So you make it add, and then if you want the 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 the, um, the virtual machine to be able to read or write, you can select here. So I, I need I need the guy from the virtual to be able to read and write. So read and write share. I give the permission level to read and write. Then I share. I take a few. Then done. And then you close that then now you go and power on your virtual box now before you do that you go to settings you need to link that for that that folder you go to shared folders i had i have several here and this one i don't use i can remove this one and then i click on the plus the the folder icon with a plus button whatever icon and you click there <clears throat> then you need to select a folder path the folder path is where you are folder is in the hosting machine so you click on other then it will uh, open your files you go to where you are the path where it is when is in desktop it is called youtube 2 i click on it select folder then uh, i i auto mount auto mounting uh, it's auto mounting to the to the virtual box to the ma virtual machine then i click i don't need to specify mount point so i just click ok ok now I can power on my virtual machine. And guys, if you haven't uh, installed your virtual machines yet, you can check out the videos that I'll be linking in my description on how to how to install virtual box, how to install uh, Kali Debian 64 on your on your virtual box. Yeah. So let's wait for this to power on. Uh -huh, just uh, just leave it to power on give it some minute guys i'll uh, pause this video in audio in audio So once it's logged on, you go to your files, <coughs> then open folder. Then you can see under devices we have um, some folder here called SF YouTube 2. So that is now the shared folder. Yeah, if you open it, of course there's nothing. We never added anything. So if I create a folder here, uh, let's call it test. To should be able to create that folder. And now, if I if I go to the Windows host and see if there's any folder which has been added inside our shared folder, it's YouTube 2, YouTube 2, let's go to desktop, see if we have a test folder and you can see it's there. Even if I add another folder here, it will still reflect on the other end. So let's call it test 2 and we see what happens. If I come here, I go back, come in again and you can see we have test 2. And that's all for today guys. Make sure you have subscribed to the YouTube channel and peace.